If I never wake up. Krista, Krista, it's time for bed. I'm coming now, Mama. I just have to lock all of the doors and the windows. Oh, these will never dry in time for church tomorrow. Oh, the fireplace is still warm. I will hang these up on the cooking hooks by the hearth. Botheration! All the windows and doors are sealed. This gift has to be anonymous because it did not come from me. Now she has to find it straight away in the morning before she does something desperate. Oh Lord, please help me find a way in. Please. The chimney? If I can get up there without anybody noticing. The fire won't be lit until the morning. When Krista goes to get her stocking, she'll find a bag of gold in the ashes. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. Well, good. The fire is dead. Fell right down to the heart. Well, that was easy. Whoa, 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 whoa! First, they know we are late for church. Come on! Good morning! We wanted to see if God answered your prayer. What? <laughs> well, didn't you find a miracle this morning? No. No? Nothing. Rose from the ashes? Of course not. The sun rose, the cock crowed, and Zeke's is making us late for church. Again? Everything is always as it was. Except for me. Now that I'm of age, nothing will ever be the same again. Well then you should come with us to worship! I will join you at Christ Mass, but first I would like to take a walk along the beach, like I used to with my father. God help us. Please help us. Oh, for heaven's sake! There's something in my stocking. It's so heavy. It's a... It's a bag. Oh, thank God. Oh. It's a bag of pens? No. Rocks. It's... It's... Wondering in the 
wilderness. Nothing that hasn't already been under our noses. The scriptures. Your grace, Constantine, he's here. Oh, pardon this interruption. All kneel for the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, Constantine the First. Pray, uh, continue, Nicolce. Uh, uh, yes, uh, of course. <clears throat> you all have, uh, I hope, read the Bible, the verses that I sent you. Scriptures commanding us to help the poor. They number over 100. My favorite coming from the 25th chapter of Matthew. Lord, when did we see you hungry and give you food? When did we see you a stranger and invite you into our home? When did we see you sick or in prison and offer to take care of you? And the king will reply, everything you do for my people, you do for me as well. That is my thesis, and that is my life. But you, you sit up there in your warm robes while the children of God are in cold rags. You build the institution of man instead of the kingdom of God. You picture Jesus up in heaven so you do not have to follow him here on earth. You poor, pathetic man. By the grace of God Almighty, of his holy Roman Empire, I am emperor. But you, you are a saint. Will someone move that the council accept now and forever? that the doctrine of the church as commanded by Christ to help the poor. I, I, I will so move. My name is Maximus, Bishop of Mira. Will all in agreement raise your hands? That's unanimous. And that the servant of God in our midst, named in proper Greek, Nicholas, be confirmed as Saint, Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas! But, but you can all be saints. Now, you must excuse me, I need to get back to Mira. Why must you go back? Because it is Christmas time soon, and every Christmas there's a miracle in Mira. There will be Nicholas, in every home, on every hearth. Carissa! Carissa! I was the first to be blessed, but no one will ever be the last, for you will always be with us at Christmas, Father. <laughs> Father oh, Christmas! What <laughs> joy!